Now we're gonna test our three soil samples. So I have sample A right here, B, and C. So these samples have been left out to dry and I took out rocks and twigs and things like that. So now we're gonna take them and we're going to mix them with one part soil to five parts water. So I'm gonna start here with A and so on the beaker, I'm gonna fill it up to about 100 um, milliliters of soil. We're, this is what's called a layperson's test. It is a rapid test soil test kit, and it's something that you can buy at the hardware store, the garden store, at Walmart, in the garden section, at Home Depot, at Green Thumb Garden. And so they know people don't have scales really at home to do it by weight. And so we really do this more by volume than we do by uh, grams. And so again, it's not particularly precise, but it is good enough to get our levels. So we're going to test nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And for part of the soil samples here, we are going to mix it with water and I just use tap water and that's okay for this one. I'm going to use distilled for another part to test the pH. But what I do is uh, we mix one part soil, five parts water, and we stir it up really well and we're going to check the ions as they come out of the soil into the water solution. So I'm gonna stir this for five minutes, and then I'm going to create the same thing for the other two soil samples. After I created them, we let them settle for an hour at least. So we're gonna stir for five minutes and then let it settle for at least an hour, but you wanna get this clear liquid water here at the top and that might take more than an hour.